Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today we have another Shop My Stash. Here we can see, I think we might be a little bit bright. Um, here we can see everything that I've been using the past two weeks. We're going to go through it. Some things I might keep in, but most of the stuff I like to rotate out and try again um, because I do have quite a lot of makeup. So I like to rotate, play with all of my makeup and you doing Shop My Stash um, bi-weekly makeup basket whatever it is that you like to refer to it as it really really works for me and I enjoy it it, it kind of gives me a newfound love for certain products and also try new products for like a whole two weeks so yeah let's get right into it I usually just start with um, base makeup so I have two primers I have the Charlotte Tilbury Hodlu wood flawless filter I, I do like this. I don't know if I think it's worth the money, but I do think it's very pretty. Um, so I'm going to rotate that out. I have the shade number two. The Dr. Jart Seeker Pair. Um, this is the small size and I used quite a bit of it. Um, I really like this. It's really nice for days that I'm feeling a little bit more red and it feels hydrating. It feels like a moisturizer with a color correcting. It's actually really, really nice. So I paid a pretty penny for this small jar, but I still think it's worth the money. I have three foundations. I have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Stick in Vanilla 2. I only use this for the first time today. I The reason why I didn't use my foundations as much in this rotation is because I got some new foundations that I was reviewing. Um, I also have my project pan when I have just my project pan in these I use it a lot but I bought it I got a I came into possession of a few new foundations so I was wear testing them I just used some other ones oh, look the reality is I did wear all of these but not as much as I usually do in my rotation so I only wore this once today and I do really like it it's very nice it's the only foundation stick that I like it's very light. It's kind of like their Tinted Moisturizer, but a little bit more coverage. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Terra Nuve in Light Zero. I'm going to keep this in. I'm keeping this in because I am very close to finishing, and I'm going to just keep it in until I finish it. I have a few. I also have this Bare Minerals. That looks so dirty. I'm so sorry. Um, Complexion Rescue. I've almost finished this too in Vanilla 2. I just keep these on my desk um, because I'm trying to finish up both of them. And I'm not like putting pressure on myself to finish them, but whenever I want to wear a tinted moisturizer, I reach for these and they just sit on my countertop there because I'm really trying to finish some foundations this year that have been sitting in my drawers. Here we have the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Light Ivory. Um, and I only wore this once as well. So I'm going to put that one back too. I have one concealer. Yes, one concealer. I have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I have the shade Fawn. And yeah, I really like it. It's a little bit light for me. I'm in summer at the moment. So I was wearing my Project Pan that costs us a little bit more. You could even maybe tell that this is just that little bit darker and it's more yellow toned. I am neutral. Um, this is more pink and this is more yellow. I did mix them quite a few times. But yes, I will return this. I actually realized I've used quite a lot of it. There's not a lot of product in here. So this would be a good Project Pan product. My, I had two powders. I had the Ultra 3 Second Skin Press Powder in Translucent. And I used this quite a lot. I really like this powder. You can see I've actually started making, oh, maybe you can't see it because it's white. Started making a dent in the imprint. This is quite new to me. But I just love this powder. It's really good if you're looking if you're Australian looking for an affordable pressed powder. Really good. I believe there's two shades, translucent and then um, like a shade for deeper skin tones. Um, so yeah, I really like that, but I'm gonna put it back. And then another Australian brand is my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil. I use this a few times, not as much as the Ultra 3. I love the Ultra 3, um, but I did use this a few times. And I actually had a lot of product in here and I managed to finish it all and then add some. So there's a win there. Okay, let's go on to cream products. I have three cream products. I have the Pixie on the Glow Blush in a shade Ruby and I probably use this two or three times. Um, and now I really, really like it. It's I, I have all three shades and I just think they're really, really nice. 
I actually experimented using this with a powder blush over the top and it actually worked, which I was surprised by because I thought this was very much a cream product, cream face makeup day only, um, but it did work with the powder over the top, so there you go. I have the Melt Cream Blush Light in Golden Hour and I love this. This is new to me and putting this in the this rotation was my first time using it and I used it quite a few times. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a nice color. And then I had my NARS Cream Bronzer in Laguna and you need the tiniest bit for this. Oh, we've got some brush hairs in here. So I've used this quite a lot, but still not barely a dip. Um, but it blends out really nicely, but you don't need a lot of product. So I'm going to put that back, my beloved. And then we have my powder face products. So I had a lot of Ulta 3 in this rotation. So I have my baked, this is all the stuff rubbed off. It's not even that old. Dream Duo, I'm guessing, because this is called Dream Duo. This is the bronzer. And I tend to just blend the two. Um, I, it's nice. It's very light. It's not heavily pigmented. And it has a nice shimmer to it. It's quite a nice bronzer. I feel like something a little bit more natural. And then the blush is called Blushed Beauty. And we've got a nice pinky cool tone and a nice warmy peachy tone. And I actually liked pairing this on top of the Melt um, Blush Light. Um, I had two highlighters, OXX Blue Marbled Highlighter in Rose Gold. Oh, I don't know about this. It's very, very heavy, very textured. Like texture, it looks like texture on your skin. So I'm not 100% convinced on this. And then I was playing with this Ilamasca and I was playing with it with the intention of do I want to keep it or not? Because it's very bulky, which I hate the packaging, but the product is so good. It's a highlighter. It's got a greeny gold shift, but it's not so intense that, like this is too intense. It's not so intense that the green feels alien-like. It's actually really, really nice. And I want to keep it. <laughs> I was really testing to see if I loved it. And the reason why I keep it in all these years it has been years is because every time i do use it it's absolutely stunning so i am going to keep it even though it's bulky packaging all right my face palette that i had is this i actually had oh this bloody highlighter is falling apart this was a becca highlighter that i actually hit pan on and then i dropped it um so i was devastated after all that hard work <laughs> uh, i think it's the pearl one so i deep potted it and put it in here it's starting to crumble again so I might have to repress it again um, but I haven't anyway I didn't really use this as a highlighter I used it as in a corner brow bone kind of situation Sydney Gray's blush I used a few times I didn't use this shade but I think I used all three and then I had some Sydney Grace that I put back in here that were in here as well uh, but I might just leave them in there for now um, Too Faced Soleil Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and then By Terry Contour Powder. Probably use this one the least. Not that I don't like it, I just forgot I had it basically. But that is going to go back. Then my, I had this, no that's eyeshadow. My lip products, I didn't use the pink. This is Hourglass I believe, I didn't end up using it. Uh, my Fenty Gloss, I might actually, no, I want to put another one in that I'm thinking of, so I did use that. I used this with a, just with a lip liner, it was really nice. Um, my Sweet Succulents, I used a couple of times, I love it. My Bite Beauty Fiano, I used a few times. My Kaleidos Fiamma, which is like a pinky red. I did use that maybe once. And then my Anita, I think I used a couple of times from NARS. This is um, holiday packaging, but this does still exist. So there were those. And then lastly, we have eyeshadow. So I had the Sigma eyeshadow base primer, but I also like to use it as an eyeshadow in the shade Persuade. And I ended up using this quite a lot. Um, I ended up using this a lot as base primer um, and I really like it so I really enjoyed using that I might actually because I had this in I might actually pick 
an eye primer from now on and rotate through them because I had one in my project pan for so long I never used the other ones and I want to start using them again so I might actually rotate one in this time. I have my Mecha Max Single Shadow in Wannabe and I did not use it. I actually bought, um, did two eyeshadow review videos but three eyeshadow palettes this fortnight so I also didn't use as many eyeshadows as I wanted. This was one of them. Um, which is a shame because it's so pretty. Why did I not use this? Anyway, I'm going to put it back. Um, this Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in Honey, I used a lot. I like wearing this. I use it with just this, one of these shades in the crease, one of these shades in the crease. Um, I wore it with the Sigma Eye Base. It's just such a nice everyday color. I love this product. Then my eyeshadow palettes. Yes, this is a Torps by Juvia's Place. Oh God, I love this palette. It is so pretty. This shade I use the most. Oh, I do love this palette. It's just so easy, but beautiful. Um, really, really enjoyed using that. I've probably used this one the most just because it's the most wearable. The Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. Um, I didn't use every shade, but I did a pinky look. I did a more warmer tone look, but like I said, um, a couple of days I use like just that in the crease or just that in the crease with the Victoria Beckham um, just for nice easy going to the shops kind of looks and then here are all my singles I did a really pretty look with um, these are Enchanted Luster, Urban Decay and then Sydney these circle ones here are all Sydney Grace um, so I did a really pretty look with this fluoro pink with this over the top that was a really pretty look I liked that one I did a look with the purples purple I don't remember and I think I used the single shadows in the in the other pan I think I did a green I did a green look yes you know I love a good green look so yeah I got some use out of that I didn't use these enough I wish I'd use these, these colors here these goldy colors they're very pretty but I'm going to pop this one back as well. So that completes everything. Let's go over to the makeup drawers. Okay, we're going to pick some primer. This is setting spray, backups, and pressed powder and loose powder. I would like, see, summer, 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 summer. What do we want? This is new. I want to use this Emco Beauty Brighten and Correct Banana Powder. Um, I used it once in a video that I have not uploaded yet. And I want to play with it. So let's add that one. And pre um, loose. I have my new NARS. Translucent in shade Crystal. Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is also in a coming video. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to add that one in too because I've only used it once and I won't play with it more. Primer, primer, primer. Mm, let's put this NARS one in actually. This is Cal... Calvoya. And it's just like a illuminating. I will show you. Illuminating primer. And it's got some moisture in there too. Just kind of gives you a nice glow. No, I think I'm just going to have the one because I've got my project pan as well. So let's do that. Let's start with foundation. We have light to medium and then medium to full coverage. Um, actually, I might put this one in. The L'Oreal Infallible. This is shade 20 Ivory. I could put that over the primer. Yeah, that'd be good for me for summer. Some I have, I'm avoiding some of the foundation because they're more suitable for me in winter. But that'll be good for now. A lighter one. Actually, I barely use... I've barely used this, so maybe I'll put this one in. This is the Tarte C Hydroflex in shade 12N Fair Neutral. This is the mini, and 
I don't have a great opinion on it, but now's the time to wear it. So let's put that in. And I've been super oily <laughs> with all this humidity. Um, so that might be good to try now. So let's put that one in too. Now I'm gonna pick some concealer. I might do a potted concealer. Just because I haven't touched them in so long. I have the Too Faced um, Instant Coverage Concealer. And then I have RMS Beauty Uncover Up 00. This is kind of a multi-purpose foundation and concealer. You can kind of use it for whatever you want. Yeah, let's try the RMS. Let's do that. Oh, I'm going to use this one. I haven't used this one in a while. Um, the Hourglass Cream Vanish. I usually save it for when I'm going out because it's like my favorite concealer, but I don't go out, so I need to use it. <laughs> so I'm going to add this one in too. Now, all along here are my face palettes. So one that I want to use, I haven't used in a while, and I'm a bit on the fence about, is this Kevin Aquan Jewel Pop. And I keep it for this sculpting medium, but I want to see if I can try a little bit more of everything. This is really nice, but it's this is what I keep it for. So I'm going to put this one in and play with it a bit more. Okay, let's go into highlighters, which has got no space. This is the MAC Bling It To Me. Again, a good summer shade, so I want to get some good use out of it. Oh, see how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So let's do that one. I might go in for a second, you know. Maybe I'll do a fun one. I haven't done this one in ages. This is my Kaleidos Moon Cruiser. If I do a fun look. It's got a blue... So I've got pink in it. It's like a blue, purpley pink. Now, for cream, I definitely want this by Terry CC Serum Blush. Um, I just want to get some more use out of it. It's a really pretty color, especially for now. I don't like the pump. It always pumps out too much product. but it's very similar to the liquid blush from NARS, the orgasm shade. For contour, actually, I might add this one in. Yeah, Cossus 8th Muse Cream Duo. Yeah, let's do that. It's been a while. And I get a nice highlight too. Hmm, that highlight is probably better for summertime as well. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I forget about that because it's black and just so sleek. I just want a cream bronzer. I think I might use the, the e.l.f. again. Putty bronzer in tan lines. Which is a really nice colour. So let's do that one. All right, next we're gonna go to powder bronzer. And I think, I'm pretty sure I want this one. Uh, this is the Nabla Skin Bronzing in Ambra. And I just, oh, it's so pretty. It's probably one of my favorite bronzers that I have. It just looks so good on the skin. Uh, do I want, I might actually bring in my Vive. I just got bronzer on it. Good one, Sam. I haven't used this much because it's matte, but I'm going to use it. This is the Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo, the light one. So you've got a warmer tone and then a cooler tone. And it's very good quality. And that's good. They're all different colors. <laughs> this one's more shimmery. Not shimmery, but it has a nice glow to it. You could probably tell. And then these are straight up matte. Now blush. I've got the one blush. I've got this one blush, which is a very warm tone. Let me swatch it. It's actually very neutral. It's very pretty. It's got a nice shimmer to it. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to go something real pink. Oh, let's go this one. 
Let's go hourglass diffused heat. Is this going to be very similar? Oh no, it's much pinkier. Okay, let's go this one. That's a pretty one. Oh, let's go Moira. Yes, what's this color look like? I don't want them to be all too similar. That's, I think, a bit too similar for that. Maybe I'll go an orange. Maybe I'll go Pesca. Oh, I did want Luminoso the other day. Let's go Milani Luminoso. Yes, let's do that. That's pretty. Yes, I think that's so one, two, and then three. I think they're quite different. Lovely. Okay, so here we have all my singles mascaras, which I'm not going to pick. Um, brow and eye primers, which I might pick. Eyeliners, which I don't pick. And then lip, lip liners that I do not pick. Um, okay, so let's start here. I said I was going to pick an eye primer. Um, I think I might, I think I might go P. Louise because I haven't used it that much. This is the Mama Mitchell Acid Rain in Blank Canvas. Um, and it is just a light skin toned color. So I'm going to add that in. It's hard to get this angle. So this is mainly where I'm going to look at. Up the back there is more glitters and liquid eyeshadows. So I'm going to be focusing more here. I think I want to pick one of my beautiful Ulta 3 Master Metals. I tend to always go for this one brass, but I might pick bronze this time. It's a more warm toned. And they're so pretty. So, so pretty. So let's put that one in. And then let's pick one more. We've got a very warm toned one. So maybe a more cooler tone. go blue I could go blue Colourpop Moon Daisy which would be really nice with my Moon Cruiser that could be a whole look mm, maybe we'll do that it's my only colourful Super Shock shadow all the other ones I have are very neutral because I tend to go for singles when I want easy neutral not so much colorful but this was so pretty i had to have it let's do those two right so this is all tidy and clean because i did oh ivy <laughs> i did a lipstick declutter and organization and i changed it all around so if you haven't seen this before ivy's been in this sneaky girl um if you haven't seen my videos before this was chaos but now it's a lot more organized, so I'm at peace. So let's put my old ones back. So all bullets, and then here we have whatever fits. So we've got some liquid lips that are short, and then these are all lip glosses. I'm so glad that I've got proper full use out of this. This used to be pushed back and I was only accessing it from here forward. Um, and then here we have my really long liquid lipsticks, um, all my lime primes, and then these are just like your random ones. And I've got lip creams, and these ones that don't, are lipsticks and lip glosses that don't fit in here. And then I have my minis over here. So everything is a lot more organized, and I love it. So I'll probably be hitting up those minis next round for travel. But I definitely want to bring in this gloss. I had it standing up and look, I'm actually halfway. How cool is that? So um, I only just put this back in this morning. It was standing up on my table from using it. And I'm going to put this in and see if I can work through it and try and finish it. Because I like having all my glosses here. But I've got two, three long ones. And ideally, I'd actually like to finish these two. I'm really good at finishing glosses because you can just pop them on through the day. Um, I wish this fit in here, but it's just a bit too tall. Um, so I ideally won't, wouldn't want to have any glosses there. I'd like them to all fit here. I love doing that. Listen to that. 
feels good. Um, so I'm going to put this one in and I'm probably going to keep rotating between these two and try and finish them. Um, let's go stick to this area. I actually really want to put in my favorite red, one of my favorite reds, the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Day Trip. Oh, I didn't swatch this. Let's swatch my Day Trip first. So really, to me, this is um, a red lipstick that I would wear during the day because it is bold, but it's not heavy bold. I'll show you what I mean. Like this Maybelline next to it is like really bold. See, I find this a little bit more wearable. When I want a bold lip, but it's, you know, during the day, I still, we're not wearing masks anymore, so I can get back into the bold lipstick and it's made me so happy. I feel like life is going back to normal. Um, this is the gloss. So once it's on the lips, it just enhances your own natural redness. It looks really red here, but it's actually not. It's the kind of gloss I love where I'm really not wearing makeup, but I just want a little bit of something on my lips. It's one of my favorite glosses of all time. It's the Kaleidos Lucid Lip in Dramatize. I don't know if you can still get it, but it's amazing. Um, uh, let's pick a liquid lip. Bare Minerals, actually. This is Bare Minerals in Boss, and it's a liquid lip. And it's a really nice color. One of the few mid-tone purpley that I like. I don't usually go for this kind of color, but this is the exception. It looks really nice. Okay, lip gloss, red lip. Okay, let's go for some neutrals. Shall we? Maybe I'll go um, an Australis lip cream. Yeah, let's go this one, which is Empower. I really like it. And then let's pick a lipstick. I feel so much more exciting picking because I know where everything is. It's actually quite enjoyable. You know how excited I am for next rotation to pick a bunch of mini stuff? It's, it's very exciting for me. Um, let's go, I might go cruising from NARS and one more, one more, I think I want a cream. Hmm decisions maybe i'll go and alter three actually i think i might go with born with it no that's too similar to that not that one let's pick between flushed which is probably what i should pick and deluxe hmm they're both pretty. I think I'll pick the pinkier one just because I don't have a pinky tone. So this is the shade Flushed from Ulta 3, which is this one here. All right. Two lipsticks, lip cream, liquid lip, and a lip gloss. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so I have picked out some eyeshadow palettes because I'm just at a point where I have to take out to be able to fit back in what I have <laughs> because I have, oopsie daisy, um, all my, oh my God, all my eyeshadow palettes are here, all of them. So I'll show you. That's everything. So I try and fit them in these like um, book stands. Um, so there's three layers. And when I can't fit anything else, that means that I need to declutter. So I think I am going to do a whole collection declutter. I like to do them every few months um, just for things that maybe are expired or I just have no longer an interest in. And it's just, it's not a huge declutter, but every few months it just kind of keeps the space. Um, and I do give those away to friends and family um, because I don't want my collection to get too out of control. It's already pretty big. So... I have picked some eyeshadow palettes already. There's just these two that I can't decide. I wanted, I try and like to mix it up a bit. So like warm tone, cool toned, 
bright, you know, those kind of things. These are my two warm tone palettes. So I have the Revolution Reloaded in Neutrals 3, um, which I really love this palette. And then I also have the Morphe 9T, which I think they're repackaged. So I don't know what to pick. This one's obviously more ready toned, but there's some really nice browns here. Do I want to go really neutral or do I want to go ready? Maybe I'll show you the other two and then we can decide at the end. And when I say we, I mean me, but <laughs> I'm trying to like, it feels like you guys are here, you know? So we have the BH Cosmetics Switzerland. What is it? Smitten in Switzerland palette. And that's what it looks like. Let's give it a little swatchy swatch. Oh, you can already see my next palette. Secrets out. Okay, so here is an, oh, see, the light just captured that. Isn't the shimmers just outstanding? Wow. Okay, so that is this palette here. Cute. All right, then we have the Love Notes palette, which I've only used once in my review, so she's beautiful. <laughs> This is me in a color story. Thank you very much. Let's do some swatches. Okay, so here we have, oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. Wow, look at that red. I love red, I love pink, I love gold. Oh, woohoo, so cute. And here's the palette. Oh, I cannot wait to play with this. So we have those two. And I think, I think I might actually go Morphe just because I've got some red tones in the Love Notes. As much as I did want to use that, I think I just want a really, really neutral palette, which is the Morphe 90. So let's swatch this one. So I'm realizing this is actually very matte heavy. There are seven, six mattes and only three shimmers. So there are the three shimmers. You can see the mattes aren't very swatched very well, but the times I've used this palette, it's performed quite nicely. It doesn't swatch that amazing. This brown, this chocolate brown looks so stunning. Really stunning. Anyway, that is that. Okay guys, that is everything that we have for the fortnight. I'm very excited to be using all of this stuff. Um, and remember to give this video a like if you enjoy my videos, my shop moustaches, or just me in general. Um, I'd appreciate it. And remember, in the next two weeks, I'll be doing a really fun holiday edition, um, which I just cannot wait. Not only because I get to pick fun-sized makeup, but also I'm going on holiday. I cannot wait. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.